With your look around the Air Force, I'm Technical Sergeant Eric Mann. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall outlined his seven operational imperatives at the Air Force Association's Warfare Symposium in Orlando, Florida. The most important thing we owe our airmen and guardians are the resources they need and the systems and equipment they need to perform their missions. To achieve this goal, I've commissioned work on seven operational imperatives. These imperatives are just that. If we don't get them right, we will have unacceptable operational risk. Coming just days after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Kendall said his top goal is to instill a sense of urgency to modernize and meet new and emerging threats. The two highest ranking military officers in the Air and Space Forces participated in a fireside chat during the Warfare Symposium. General C.Q. Brown Jr., Air Force Chief of Staff, explained how close the Air and Space Forces really are when it comes to the nation's defense. We are so intertwined, we are so dependable on each other, not just from a you know, base operating support construct, but operationally. We cannot do what we do as a joint force without the Air Force and the Space Force. General John Raymond, Chief of Space Operations, added that the department is better as a team of two independent services, where General Brown can focus on air domain while he focuses on space domain, creating an even stronger department. Project Arcwater is the 2022 Spark Tank winner. Project Arcwater provides drinking water by using solar fabric and environmental water harvesting in an agile combat environment in a simple, eco-friendly and expedited way. Senior Master Sergeant Brent Kenny from the 52nd Fighter Wing at Spangdalem Air Base, Germany is the airman behind the idea. Kenny created Arcwater to provide a system that is designed to significantly decrease the logistics of transporting water and energy needs at off-the-grid locations. And that's your look around the Air Force.